This is Jonas from the Solution Center in Tokyo. We're going to have a look at using uh, Redfish with PowerShell in order to uh, export and import server configuration files, SCP files. And it's very useful to modify server settings uh, in bulk, for example, when setting up a new server or uh, cloning servers. This is the script that we're going to use, or the commandlet we're going to use. We're going to uh, do get help for it so that we can see what the options are. That gives you the ability to um, export this file to, uh, for example, a SIPS share, a normal Samba or Windows share, or an NFS share. In this example, we're going to use an NFS share since we uh, don't want to enter in the username and password details for the share. Um, it'll be a little bit shorter, shorter commands. So, um, first of all, we'll just export it. And uh, it's very straightforward just to enter the IDRAC IP, username, and password. Then we'll say the method. In this case, we want to export. You can also import, of course. The target could be system, BIOS, or in this case, IDRAC, for example. We specify the share type to be NFS, and uh, we say where the share is, as well as the IP address of the NFS server, and then we name the file. So we'll put something easy to recognize, windows.demo. And at the end, it's uh, the export format, which we specify to be XML. We kick that off. It has now created a job for this, a job ID, which we can also verify via the, uh, the GUI. And it now has an export server configuration pro profile job running. So we let that go through. It's fairly quick, only 11 seconds. Let's just have a look at the NFS server see if the file is, uh, has been successfully uploaded to the share. And it is right there. Let's just uh, have a look at the start of that file. As you can see, it's standard XML text format. We want to do uh, an import test as well. So uh, we'll just uh, copy this file and rename the new file uh, import instead of export. And then we can modify some setting in there and then import it. So uh, let's have a look at that. For example, we could change the VNC server, uh, let's say the port. It's 8080 right now. Let's change that to like, yeah, 9999, for example. We save that. And we do a diff so that you can see the differences in the original file versus the new file. It's only that port that is different in there. Now we run the same script, except this time, we're not going to enter any information on the command line directly. We'll simply hit enter, and then it will ask us for the information that is required. So we start off with the IDRAC IP username password. In this case, we want to import instead of export, so we change that for the method. And the target is the same as before. It's IDRAC, because those are the settings that we are importing. Using an NFS share, and specify the details for the NFS server. And then we give it the new file name, the one that we just created now. And it has now created an import job, which we can see the job ID for right here. This tool will be fairly quick. There you go, six seconds. 
That is very fast. Let's verify the setting in here. It says that it was import, uh, imported completed and uh, we can just go in and have a look at the configuration. The setting we changed is on the virtual console and VNC server. And as you can see, it's now updated to 9999 as expected. It's fairly simple to modify settings this way. You can modify any setting in the server. You can, of course, modify all the settings in the server as well uh, at once.